He <laughs> got me out of nowhere this time. Yeah. It is the funniest second. Huh? It didn't get you. Oh, I thought you said no, we're not starting. No, we started. I didn't. Even, <laughs> it started after you uh, stopped talking. <laughs> but it is the 22nd, and Ross is a practical prankster. We got a lot to cover. A lot. Not really. Not much. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I will start it off. I've tried this new wine tonight. It, uh, Stella Rosa Platinum, French Vanilla. Ooh, it's Platinum. Yeah, it tastes like a Bath and Body Work candle. <laughs> I can't say that I would buy it again, but I, it wasn't until I got it to the premises here of Ladies' Night that I, on the back of the, uh, the, the label here, <laughs> it says, Platinum is a girl's best friend. <laughs> Ooh. So, our wine's a little fruity, and it says it's made with real fruit, but it's fucking vanilla. When yeah. did when did when did a vanilla become a fruit? It's a vanilla bean. I would say a vanilla. It's a bean, not a fruit. A vanilla fruit. I, was, I thought vanilla was like that little stalk, little, little stalk, but it, yeah, like it's a, a bean. It's, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not a fruit. I would say it's more of a vegetable. Okay. So I, I'm real confused. Vegetable wine. I did look, and the alcohol percentage on that thing's like five percent. That's well, it. My Bush Light has more than that. I, I, that whole thing is like five percent, or is it like a serving's five percent? It's probably. You know, I don't know. Because the the one the it's not, curly is twelve percent. Yes. Have you ever seen alcohol where it's advertising on the front as a good thing? Low alcohol. <laughs> look. Oh, no. it says it on there. I didn't realize. No, it. why are you buying oh, bullshit? <laughs> look at the bottle. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not really. I'm like, have you ever had French vanilla wine? It caught his attention like Ross's shirt. <laughs> yeah. But it looks fancy. Does that not look like a $40 bottle of wine? Dude? No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> what does it look like? Like a sugar cake It looks like wine. water. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> it looks like a giant smart water. Smart water. <laughs> with sparkles on it. You take that back. That's hurtful. <laughs> you didn't say it was dumb water. It's yeah, like I'm thankful water. that you bought vanilla bean wine that's like half... But it's supposed to be good. Ross said he saw a helicopter with a thing yeah, behind it. Yeah, I told him, like, no joke. When he showed me the I was like, no joke. I saw a fucking plane flying down 98 this afternoon, pulling, like, a banner behind it, and it was for Stella Rosa. I don't know why the fuck they were going down 98 in a plane. I've never seen that shit around Because here. they're trying to appeal to basic white bitches like myself. They got you. They caught me. I, t I also told him, like, yeah, that wine, people who like that wine also like pumpkin spice. Because of the sweetness. <laughs> Here's a pumpkin spice fact for you. <laughs> I have had two pumpkin treats this entire pumpkin season. Well, it just started. <laughs> somebody, somebody at work made pumpkin cookies. They those were actually were, good. Those were amazing. And John ate them. Don't let him lie. And then I the, said they're amazing. And then John bought me pumpkin spice. I don't know, like eight weeks ago. Pumpkin spice coffee creamer. And I, I thought he was kidding, but no. I finally opened it. Yeah. And it wasn't what I remembered. No. But it was well, also think, iced coffee. Well, and it also that creamer sat in the fridge for like since two, last pumpkin two or spice three, season, two or three weeks before you even got to it. I know, well, but it, 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 don't, it don't expire. For like I know, but a long it, time. It, it and was I, not fresh. And I had just peeled the fresh label off. I was the first one in it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was fresh. Was it? Fresh it was. I don't it's, know. It was so fresh. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, it, I should, think it was. If the, you look at the the bo or the expiration date on your creamer, it expires like in a year. Yeah, but if you also look on it, it says must use within 14 days of opening. Well, I've had coffee creamer for like we've all a have. month, <laughs> yeah, no. and it I, doesn't kill anybody. No, I don't know if I've had it that long. Maybe it's it, like I don't, a, I don't think it's dairy. I don't think it has dairy shit. Maybe in it. it's like a Dorito where it's like guaranteed fresh until, and then after that, it's still edible, yeah. but it's just not. It's fresh. just a suggestion. It's just a uh, fucking stale chip. Stale chips. Your stale chips aren't great, but you can muster through some if you had to. Oh, yeah. If they're Doritos, just, I'll eat them. Can you just say I was stale? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you bitch. Well, I bet you're stale. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I heard, I heard that mumble bullshit. Yeah. Mumble. Fuck you. I would yeah. drink it's like, it's my like, beer you so I sat throw there. you. Yeah, you just sat there and you're like, <laughs> you know what? That fucker's just stale. You just say I'm stale. <laughs> you know what else? Fuck you, Ross. <laughs> fuck you and your mumble bumble bullshit. And mumble, my slow-ass processing. That, that, that. 
there, you're correct. It wasn't a mumble bumble, which is your slow ass <laughs> processing. I think something else is still is your fucking style over there. Yeah, you, <laughs> you cheetah print little fucker. Hey, you, you little guys, fucker. You, got, <laughs> you guys were talking you about it. Ass whooper there. He sounded like an old boy in the bar. You cheetah print little fucker. <laughs> yeah, little go outside. Y'all were talking about. Beaters up. Y'all were talking about leopard print. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. And I walked in and I wore it. I was like, hey, this is. Uh, part of my Halloween costume that we're not for the Halloween party we're not having <laughs> no we were having a serious topic at uh, work the other day yeah leopard uh, print at work that just sounds pretty serious well <laughs> there's, people it was testing work, related. there's people at work that fucking wear leopard print and so the whole fucking topic was why are you wearing leopard print if you're not trying to draw attention and attract people it's like cougars on the prow do. it's like cougars on the prow Leopard print is not not like a. It's an international. An it's an, an international sign of hey, I'm on the market, ready to mingle, <laughs> or I'm ready f- to pounce on you. Yes, <laughs> they're they're gonna yes, they'll, they'll pounce on you. Yeah. So you're saying I'm ready to pounce on you? <laughs> maybe not me. You uh, like, you freaking so. weirdo. <laughs> maybe maybe we don't. Maybe Keep your dick in your pants. God <laughs> yeah. damn. Yeah, man, put your hey, shit up. This shirt has the front pocket on it. Hey, yeah. you can put your pack of marbles there. <laughs> or your phone. <laughs> Dude, but, but it was like a topic of conversation, basically. Yes. Oh, I, this is like the one time I wear this shirt, so. If you wear that out, you could possibly meet another mate Cheetah in a yeah. cheetah print shirt, and y'all would know that, hey, we're, it's we're meant, meant to be. Together. We're cheetahs. Yeah, you cheetahs. <laughs> yeah, we, we met in the Serengeti. You met over a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> but I got the what? bullet wig here. <laughs> You look like you know who you look like. You know how mankind changed his name like six times in wrestling. Oh uh, yeah, Cactus Jack. Yeah, dude, dude love. love, dude love. Yeah, you look like Gold Dust if he changed names. Remember him? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a. That almost, would want to be Gold yeah, Dust. Yeah, that's, kind <laughs> of that's of what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. My Maybe signature move is I kick you in the nuts. <laughs> trucker, Trucker Ross, Trucker. All right. So if a woman's wearing cheetah print at the bar. Is she not looking She's for something? She's looking for something. No, it's just it's. If you're Say wearing, she's cargo, wearing like cheetah cheetah print tight shirt, or maybe even cheetah it's, spandex it's pants. If, it's if you're wearing cheetah and you're over thirty, right? Or maybe over thirty. Yeah. I don't think so. Or maybe under thirty. Cheetah print, John. Maybe wearing cheetah print is like wearing that shirt you're wearing right now. No. Is yeah, it? it's just a color or a design. No, because but some people. Feel that that's a signal or a sign yeah. that they're your, looking to mingle. Your shirt screams, "Look at me!" His his shirt screams, "I'm going just, to work." Yeah. Do you have a computer issue that you need me to solve? Yeah, that, <laughs> that is the book that I'm going yeah. for. Excuse me, sir. Is your printer not working? Here, let me fix it. <laughs> I don't know normal things, but I know how to fix a problem. I don't get it. Anyways. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, are you gonna wear that shirt out? No, I wore it for the ha- I bought it for the Halloween party we're not having. So uh, this when, is when did you buy it? Right before uh, about a month ago when I decided what I was going to be for Halloween. What we need to do ago. is we need to go out on the town and you need to wear that shirt <sighs> and see. I'd wear see, the fuck out of no, this shirt on town. Exactly. Yeah. See if that draws more attention than you. I would even unbutton your, one your more basic ass black shirt and let the ham. Hey. Don't talk. Don't just. You? Hey, you want to see what I bought on Amazon today? A black shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wear the cheetah print. I bought a two pack of dry fit black shirts. <laughs> we'll go to the same bar on the same weeknight. He's so got, that way it's it's a like it's a Friday or a Saturday. I'm you nervous night, though. And then you don't. You wear one night. You wear a black shirt. See what kind of attention you get. And the next night or the next time you go, you wear the cheetah print. And I guarantee you, you I'm, get. I'm you get scared. Some, you get I'm scared hits. for Ross though. And here's why. You're this gonna is, dra- attract crazy as fuck. <laughs> here's the two things I think you're gonna attract in that shirt. You're gonna attract a a fifty plus year old female <laughs> with six kids. Mom? Yes. No, I, I was or, gonna go lower. Or okay. or you're gonna attract dudes. No. In that no, shirt. No. I don't see the I don't see the dudes. Unless one of us were like when a guy comes up and says, hey, is your friend? Bro, that's a you, sick you, shirt, man. You think your friend will let me kiss him? And I was like, I don't know if you know unless you Dude, try. I was <laughs> – <laughs> He was so I looked, at, I looked at John like, are you, you fucking shitting me? <laughs> shitting me? 
The guy asked me, he goes, do you think your friend will let me kiss That's him? after John and the dude had a grinding on a fucking uh, pole we had a dancing competition. We had a contest. competition. They're fucking grinding on, <laughs> next to each other on fucking stripper poles. He goes, do you think your friend will let me kiss? And then he walks up to me, uh, not knowing that he already uh, was talking, like, joking with John about it. And he says, <laughs> and he walks up, he was like, hey, your, your buddy said I can kiss you. Like, what? I look over and I'm like, what? <laughs> he was like, your buddy said I can kiss you. Your buddy. But John laughing in the background. I'm like, and then what did I say? No! 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 He <laughs> like, threw his hand over his No! Head. No! <laughs> like, he wasn't put his dukes up. No, he covers his mouth. He's like, you're going to kiss his hand before you kiss No! Him. No! Oh, I, no. and, and we were hammered too. I was dying. We, that was the uh, the Rays game. Yes. Was, John went to get a beer like in the second inning. Gone. And then he never came back. He's sending us Snapchats. <laughs> Gone. I'm lost. I don't know where you guys are at. When we left and we found him, he was literally <laughs> in the corridor like three aisles up from our seats. Because he like in all the Snapchats, I had a poster behind him. We we get out of our seats, turn around, bam, that poster is straight in front of us, and John couldn't find us. <laughs> Then we went down to, uh, was it Ferg's? Mm-hmm. And that's where John got in the, the grinding session with the dude that wanted to kiss me. Well, see, that whole started because I just saw a stripper pole with a cage around it. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> and I just jumped and swung on it. And I started just swinging around. And next thing you know, it attracted people. And then there's a gay dude that wanted to kiss for us. Yeah. And then we went to the next bar. And as I'm buying a beer, there's a picture of Tom Selleck. I don't even remember this bar. Above. Oh. And then I got my beer, and I felt like I was going to puke. And then I went outside, and I stayed outside sitting on the concrete. And then we all left, and we were going to go to Waffle House, and we just passed Nick and Rachel on I-4. Never went to Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> See, I do remember that. Yeah. I don't remember going to I – don't, I only remember parts of things. I was, I was fucking hammered. Oh. Damn. Well, since we were on the cheetah but print not thing, hammered enough to know a dude who's trying yeah, to kiss Yeah, what is right and wrong? Oh. And a man trying to kiss me is wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was hilarious his reaction though. Well, oh, cuz I see John like no! talking with the guy and they're fucking <laughs> laughing at each other. I'm like <laughs> I didn't even think about it and they were plotting this shit cuz I don't think the guy was gay. I think the guy was just trying to be funny and try to like fucking fluster me. I was just like, I don't I don't know, you don't know if you don't try. He was trying hey, to do what to you? Yeah, fluff me. <laughs> but he wanted to be like, instead of bluff, hey man, your, bu- your friends, I can kiss you. I just like, I'm like, what? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> get the fuck no. out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to treat my bucket of Coors Light. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Since we were on the fucking cat topic, we also learned from another guy that goes to conventions that, that goes to conventions i don't even know what they're called i don't even know where this is going the furbies are furries oh <laughs> <laughs> people that get in animal costumes that and bang oh, and I've mascot seen that. shit i didn't know the banging but i know the people that like oh yes, they, they dress up dude. and they want to be treated like the dude animals has, like, yeah. dude. they eat and drink out of like dog and cat bowls we, we watched a six up. minute youtube on it six minute, <laughs> six minute youtube video <laughs> dude has a slit in his costume so he can put his dick out yeah. And fuck her. And she just has... Red Rocket? <laughs> Bro, I'm just like, what the fuck? No. Fucking like, weird-ass people in this world. It's a thing. It's a I, thing that I just not I'm aware completely... Of. I'm just oblivious to what's going on around me. Because I didn't know this was a thing. Like, I didn't know that you had conventions with fucking mascots. And the people were getting, like... They get aroused well, by that. Well, on the other hand, after seeing the people behind the costumes... Fucking, I can see why they, look they like wear a bunch the of co-workers. Bunch of coworkers, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> fucking That's nerds. It's a bunch of fucking nerdy people. Well, I mean, sh- what, so what were you whenever we all worked together? A fucking nerd? We weren't. We weren't IT. We were AV. Same there's thing. A big, no, there's no, no. There, fuck. There's not. There's a big difference. We're still fucking nerds. Uh, AV. <laughs> An ass vandalizer? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I called one of our managers a fucking nerd yeah. when I was there. Got in trouble. Fucking Chancy. Chancy. He got, he got in trouble because that's not his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's technically my fault. <laughs> I named him Chancy. Oh, but I, 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 too. Wrote, I wrote that fucking name out, man. I loved it. I remember riding Why is in A-Rod his... on the fucking NFL countdown show? I remember we went and ate somewhere and he had a fucking Flavor Flav clock. Flavor, flavor. Yeah, in his PT Cruiser. Yeah, he drove a PT Cruiser. <laughs> yeah, now he drives Turbo a Turbocharged. Yeah. 
No, I mean... You and your boyfriend go shopping at JCPenney and that thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, he would always fucking be like, this thing is badass, and... I'm sure you can whip a nanny. You know, him and his thing. wife got a divorce? Yes. And I then they, uh, they had joint custody of a cat. Oh, and they Get had to the fight over it? Get the fuck no out of here. Joint Get custody. Get the fuck out. So he would have the cat one weekend, she would have the cat Get one weekend. Get the fuck out of here. No. True story. True no. story. Oh, stop it. Yep. Stop it. That's fucking not true. A, it's a fucking kitty cat. You, you're saying if you got divorced, you don't want your cat? Is that she, the Bronco? If she wants my cat, she can hold on to it. She might be better paying oh. for it. No, it, it's, it's oh, a... Oh, that's a Hummer. Yeah, it's fucking stupid as hell. It's an all-electric Hummer, Just when you thought they couldn't get any dumber. I think it's all-electric, too. Oh, what a, what a bed on the chat truck. That's a real yeah. truck. You could haul, like, a toothpick in the back. You could put, like, three bags of... um. Fuck, I mean, Coxie back there. Coxie. <laughs> Three bags of ice. <laughs> I was thinking mulch. <laughs> mulch. You gotta nah, be careful. Coxine. If that ice melts, Three bags that of fucking Coxine. electric battery might short. I say, with a truck like that, you'll cut, you'll attract all kinds of swinging yep. wieners. Well, I, I was going to say I liked it, but uh, not now. What, Coxie? No, that no, the Hummer looked pretty cool. Like, getting a Hummer is pretty cool, but <laughs> I'm not driving that thing. I agree, but it all depends. <laughs> It Not driving that thing. Who you're receiving the Hummer from, too? <laughs> Where are you going with that? I don't. I'm just saying that. Like, I'm, I'm there's a good chance that. if you wore that shirt, you could probably leave with a Hummer. Ross could probably go to the bar right now and c- pull away with a Hummer. Yep. When they're done, probably leave a brown ring around you from where <laughs> she was dipping skull. You can Hell always yeah. do the lipstick rainbow test. What is that? They try on different lipstick while they go down. So every time they make a rainbow on you. So you're telling me you don't know there's people that dress up as cat and dogs, but you know that you can put it on different shades of lipstick and. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that, but I've heard uh, that. This is the guy who just said he's oblivious to things outside of his world. You've Apparently, never... uh, lips, lipstick ding dongs are inside of John's world. <laughs> <laughs> You've never put on <laughs> lipstick. No. <laughs> I'm just saying, like I've heard of people getting BJ's, but the girl would yeah. put on different lipstick and lipstick give you a rainbow. <laughs> give you a rainbow on your penis. Well, that's not cool because then... It's a tease, that's for sure. There's only like, depending on how long you are, they can only try on like maybe 20 <laughs> shades and it's done. John's like, I got two colors on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Her lips are really wide. <laughs> yeah, Whatever, dude. That's the problem. <laughs> I was only oh I was only able to get my wiener out about an inch and a half out of my cat suit. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> cat suit's thick, man. Hell yeah! I was like, I'm a furry cat, man. I'm a furry cat. <laughs> Furries. If I just trim some fur back, yeah. I'd look bigger. <laughs> I'm a furry cat, man. Basically, the furries was like it's like cosplay, is what it yeah. was. But you're in this like teddy bear outfit type deal. Yeah, there's some people like that live times. by that too. Oh, yeah. uh, we like, saw a video. The who, we saw a video. Well, you see the ones that the, they uh, they live like they live themselves like 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 a baby. They sleep in mm-hmm. cribs and they want to be mommy. I have they seen, actually I, shit their pants. I have seen that weird shit. Yeah, they will actually poop their pants. I'm sorry if well I, if you're shitting your pants, I'm not cleaning that bullshit. If you're an Did adult you? and you can you're fully capable of cleaning up and taking a shit on the toilet, you're taking a shit on the toilet. Did you clean the blow up up? tonight because we saw a snapchat that shit was up the back i have not checked my snapchats and i'm thankful that I <laughs> that means he was not home <laughs> i am thankful i did not get that was that thing it was in the middle of his shoulder blades he shit so oh, high yeah was it um a hateful snapchat or no. like it just pissed off snapchat? It's, like, yeah. it's like i don't even want to take these clothes <laughs> off and then rolls him over and it is up the back Woo. <laughs> the next snap was one. him. Yeah, the next snap was one. him submerged in water in his little bathing you're, thing. You're gonna have to get up. You're gonna have to get a fucking bath. Oh. <laughs> I'd take a bath after that too. I'm so glad I quit shitting myself like a <laughs> month or two ago. You don't know how many times I've almost thrown up on my child. Uh-huh. Like between him so, and Tori, mm. like just the smell of shit. And he's oh, the parenting is great. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost regular morning shitter now. And he took after his Uncle Ross. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> Mike is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I it finally is, went today for the first time in oh like man. eight days. I went I, twice today. I get them ready in the mornings, and it's just, oh, fuck, man. It's real. I, when I finally passed one today, I felt borderline gay. It's a miracle. <laughs> like it, it was like, I'm not kidding. It's about that long. Probably about that big around and a couple big ones after it. You shit it. out of Mendingo. Well, he fucking <laughs> ate a sauce. Like, he probably ate, like, three sausages. 
<laughs> Not that many. No, I just had a normal helping. A yesterday. box of Publix chicken. That's it. <laughs> I haven't uh, done that in a while. <laughs> like six tenders today. No, four. <laughs> You said you got. Oh, you know, you're over. right. I had seven. <laughs> <laughs> True. See, I, was, I, I had, almost, I I had one off. I had four at lunch, and then I needed a snack to come over here, you're so right. I had three buffalo ones. <laughs> I should have ate a snack. I had a snack. Snack. Snacked it up. I had me some mesquite barbecue chips. Those are good. Yep. What kind? Mesquite, Mesquite barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you like that brand, though. Like, oh, like Cape Cod. Cool. Oh, those, those are really are good. good. Hell what yeah. flavor were they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what flavor, man? Were they uh, the soft chips or the hard chips? Were they potato chips or poker chips? Ooh. Or chocolate chips? Oh, I love chocolate chips. I love chocolate chips, too, man. On pancakes, on waffles, on muffins. On anything. No muffin too tough. And I needed some chocolate chip pancakes in my life. I haven't had none in a while. I have not either. Tell you what I did discover is the Chick-fil-A breakfast burrito with chicken in it. It will it'll change what your What else mind. would be in it? It's fried Sausage, chicken. It's fried chicken. Beef. Oh, they, ha- they have that at Chick-fil-A? I didn't know. That. I, yes. uh, it's an honest question. I it's didn't a know. breakfast burrito with fried chicken, egg, oh, yeah. uh, hash browns. Okay. Fucking cheese. Oh, I'm, I'm, I still haven't gotten past the whole. He said you, you have sausage, beef in it. I didn't know. Jalapeno. You, you put fucking yeah, you jalapeno sausage, sausage uh, sauce on it. Yeah. Oh my it's god, good. it's so good. It's it, addictive. It, may, it makes McDonald's breakfast Mc, burritos. McBr- McBritos. Fucking throw that bitch out the window. Yes. Like yeah, 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 yeah McGriddle, they're man. so good. I like, love the McGriddles, but I'm telling you, this chicken burrito from Chicken Filet. Will change your life. They're not open when I leave for work in the morning. Well, you're gonna on your way home, way. you're gonna have to find a way to get this breakfast burrito. I, I'm not all part of the Chick Fil A hype. Like people like See, Saturday, Saturday about morning. Chick-fil-A. I'm Saturday not morning, man. Yeah. Saturday not, morning. I'm yeah. not either. This if good. I'm gonna eat breakfast in the morning, it's gonna be Sunday morning. <sighs> and they're not open. Well, well, that's just not right, man. Goddamn morning. You got six other fucking days to get it. This Boy, fucking bullshit. breakfast burrito. We're just telling you. It has changed our lives. It did. It changed our Fridays. It's pretty sad. Yeah, dude. It's so changed good. Changed our Fridays. It's you so know what else? good. I don't even eat breakfast, and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm looking forward to someone bringing in some Chick-fil-A. You know what else would change my Fridays? If I could get a damn coupon code for these expensive-ass donuts. Oh, but see, these expensive-ass breakfast burritos you don't, have me Don't buy. come barking up my tree. You Shut took up. my money and my email. I, I took your money you and turn I, it in? I gave it did to Did you her? turn it in? Yeah, you <laughs> typed it in. You, you typed it in. You said that I had to remind you to give somebody or give her the 20. Did you give her the 20? Yes. Yes. Back to these donuts. What kind of donuts? Krispy Kremes. Krispy Kremes. The most oh, yeah. expensive donuts I've I was going to buy a box until I was told I had to go pick them up myself. I'm like, well, fuck that. I ain't buying them. Yeah, well, don't oh, don't go do that gypsy bullshit. No. I, no, she's, no, no, she's no like, she said that she would go get them. She did. Oh, yeah? Because yes. she works near it. That's what I'm saying. She said she would pick them up. Yeah, but I didn't buy them. You're supporting kids. No, once, I, uh, once I was told I had to go get them. I wish I could go back to when you were playing at Duffield hey. and I could take my dollar back out of your helmet hey. standing outside of Walmart. Hey. I never did that. When she asks, Wait. Would you, will you buy some? Sure, you asked me. Hold on. Ask her if she bought some. No. If she ain't buying them, you shouldn't buy them. If she buys them, you should buy them. Who all yeah. bought, bought them so no, far? No, she should. I have no idea. <laughs> there, there, I didn't even know. She's never told me. You told me. <laughs> you told me, and then I sent the email to her. Yeah, she, she said it whenever we were over your house Saturday because she sent the snap about snap the donuts. Snap about it, yeah. And I forgot about it. And then uh, John what? Skillman said he had, so yeah, I got 10 bucks. She was like, well, you know you have to go pick them fuckers up. Well, he thanks like, for that in the sales pitch. Yeah. And even I said, even she says, hey, I, ain't, I ain't fucking going out there. Here's the thing. She said I sent it in a group message, so we all saw it. What is a Snapchat? It's like a five-second and done. She got you. That, she, was long, that was long enough for me to know so, what was going on. So what are y'all using our $20 for? I gave her the money, <laughs> so I don't have it. <laughs> See, uh, I don't know what Jew bullshit she's pulling on you. Hey. <laughs> Why is, that, why is that the Jew bullshit? It's because there's money involved. <laughs> that was just a stereotypical comment. If it's oh, Joe hey, shit, she would have told you to save your money. I, I got a, I got a dad <laughs> no, joke. I, don't know. I got a, I got a dad joke. I came up with on the fly this week. Like I was so proud of this one. Somebody at work was getting a new stereo system put in her car. Okay. Like a boom boom, like. That like, stuff's still cool. Yeah, I guess it's like a thousand dollars for this fucking thing that they're they over, right? they overpaid. I thought for so show. too. Oh show. So 
me and my quick-witted wisdom, I said, if you are writing a review on your stereo new stereo system, does that make you stereotyping? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. He does it. Yes. It's yes. True. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Show. Oh, Micah, Micah that's a good is, one, man. Micah is quick witted with some stuff like that. I say some shit. I'm just over there just Still. laughing. Just Mike, it just fucking cracks me up. I remember I had the boom boom in my car. And then I graduated high school. And then I had it for a few years after I graduated high school. Then I grew up. Well, I don't have that anymore. Country music don't have a lot of boom boom. You don't no. need all of that. That's what I listen to. It does if you're listening to Luke Bryan. <laughs> if you're listening to Luke Bryan. <laughs> Make you go boom boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> we and now that, shit, now that shit pissed me off. I, I, when you're sitting yeah. in your house and you're the turn your goddamn music <laughs> off i sound like my dad <laughs> yeah. now nobody yeah. else wants to listen to your fucking <laughs> your shit. bullshit yeah. that's me <laughs> pull your fucking pants up while you're at it <laughs> no nah, I I, just... that shit does make me mad now and the more the older i get the more i'm becoming my dad <laughs> i'm just like here's my thing like you can listen to your music you cannot enjoy it at that level. There's ah! no way. And if and you're, you're like, are you singing? Are you oh. like? It's rattling What's even your worse is like when you're walking down the sidewalk and there's a car just driving down the road. Oh, yeah. You could hear their Bluetooth conversation over the phone because they're on a phone call and they have their fucking radio yes. turned up to 98. <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh, dude, three, oh, bill- oh three blocks yes, over yes, could yes. hear your conversation you're, in your car. Fucking right so though. true. I walked out of work the other day. <laughs> the fucking windows were up on yeah. this car. Could, you could they hear every now, fucking get word. <laughs> Clear <laughs> as day. Yeah. I heard their conversation better than they did. They're almost yelling back at them so you can hear it both ways. Yeah, the I'm entire- like, fucking A. It's not spying anymore because <laughs> no. they can hear every fucking thing. Get them fucking You're worried about fucking names. Snowden. <laughs> yeah. But Johnny, three blocks down, walking, getting it, picking up his mocha latte, he can fucking hear your conversation. Well, What's wrong with the mocha though, latte, cocksucker? <laughs> yeah. Like, when I'm in my Jeep, I like, I will. I, when I'm in my I Jeep, have one today. someone calls that I want to talk to. I didn't to. say anything was wrong with him. Mocha latte frappuccino, <laughs> fuckface. Hey, you're rude. Oh, <laughs> you want to get in the coffee shop bullshit? Speaking of rude, speaking of rude. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit mask mandate stuff. It's nope. over. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Unless unless the local business wants you to wear one. Okay, so that's exactly what happened. Yeah. I walked into a coffee shop. Lady said, sir, do you have your mask? And I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> and then I was like, I pulled it out. I showed I had my mask. And I was like. Is it, why is it not in your face? <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, can you put it on? I, she, did she? Yes. Yeah, like, I, I was she's, like. You she's, said, she's, yeah, cause she said, do you have a mask? You said, yes. She's like, well, can you put it on? He's like. Nope, I'm no, going somewhere else. <laughs> I walked out. I walked out. I was like, fuck that bullshit. And then, and then is, this place, is this a place you go every day? No. No. Uh, this is a different place across the street. It's a, it's a competitor. Yes. <laughs> but we went there because I wanted a fucking Frappuccino, and they make them better over there. But, hey, but then I, then me, being defensive, trying to help my buddy, I start running my cocksucker, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so all these people over here sitting down next to us without a mask on can't get COVID, but us fuckers can? And then I realize, shit, my mask is on the right way where they can see where I work. I'm like, shut up. Just shut up. It's not worth it. It's your a boy, cup of coffee. Your boy is cup gone. Of coffee. Your boy already left. Yeah. John handled the situation perfectly. I escalated it. <laughs> I was like, I could comply, but I was like, hmm? Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> I got my coffee and then I stood outside of that business with my coffee, with no mask, and waited for them to come out. Well, you're outside. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah, it's exactly. okay. I got them fuckers. I paid for my Frappuccino. Didn't even tip them. Fuck them. No. Fuck, <laughs> that. <laughs> fuck that bullshit. They charged me $5 for a cookie. Fuck their tip. I, I mean, said, for a coffee. <laughs> I said, Micah, I'm not about that hippie bullshit, man. <laughs> These hipsters nowadays. You look like a hippie, John. These hipsters nowadays are <laughs> not about that hippie bullshit. No, yeah, but here's the difference. Fucking, here's uh, the difference. I'm like an old school hippie. I ain't no new school hipster hippie. No, you look you look like full like Antifa oh, hippie. I might look like a new new hipster yeah. hippie, not but I am not. A, I am not an Antifa hipster John, hippie. I hate to break the news to you. Old school hippies didn't have man buns. <laughs> I've never they seen did, Tommy they did, have, they did have long hair and beards. They might have wore. They might have wore headbands. Bad. Some of them were badasses. They might have wore a headband, but I've never seen them in a top knot. Okay. Now. Hey, you know what? Guess what? I'm gonna start wearing bandana then. 
How about you just get a fucking haircut? How about no? <laughs> <laughs> How about you get fucked? <laughs> How about I'm American and I do what I want? How about you grow a real beard? <laughs> I've been trying, Ross. Yeah, and I've told you, you will not grow a full beard until you start actually shaving your face. But I can't shave because my wife wants me to shave. <laughs> <laughs> You should be a smart ass and just trim the cheeks and leave all the the bottom hair. You leave the pubes, pubescent pubescent. Uh, you look girl. Amish if you did that. I will let I will let Armor professionally trim my beard. That's what I'll do. You're gonna go in. He's like, dude, you got here's like your four money. Hairs. He's, yeah, he's gonna give you your money yeah. back. Said so there wasn't much to trim, bro. Like, you <laughs> want to keep your clean beard, it up. right? Yeah, I want to keep my beard. All right, cool. You're done. How much you think a beard trim is? Because I know the answer. Probably like ten ducks. <laughs> ten ducks. <laughs> T- ten ducks. <laughs> I think it's 15. Damn, I was close. If you get a haircut, it's only five. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 25 for the haircut, five for the beard. If you, I it's just a combo. need, like, literally my ends tr- trimmed on my beard. Just hey, to make them even. Cut off my split ends. You if back I can get shaven. Ross's link, that'd be good. Your link is good, too. This it's is shaved. Thing. Mine's like a three this is or trimmed. four right now. Yeah. Mine's probably like a four right there now. There's about no, a seven or a nine. I'm mine. not trimming my beard like that, though. It's just not happening. What what you need to do is you need to actually shave it completely off a few times. Dude, I'm not shaving doing it. I'm stimulates not doing it. growth. What stimulates growth is letting it grow. John, you've been letting it grow for like three years and it hasn't stimulated anything. You know what but I've, not, I've <laughs> never had anything until I let it grow. You know what stimulates growth? Dirty thoughts. <laughs> You're true about that. <laughs> Man, my beard is so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like getting longer. It's growing. Uh, yeah. It's definitely growing. It's growing. It's stimulating. It's I can definitely feel getting it. fuller. <laughs> I can fucking feel it right now. My beard is growing. Can you hear it? I did not believe it myself, John, until I started doing it. It's true. Like, whenever I was trying to grow in this hair, yeah. it wasn't until I started routinely shaving it that yeah. it, it started growing back. Like me, I, I could only grow the like the chin strap mu- uh, beard for like the longest time until I just started shaving my you face. You didn't think I heard that when I was 14? Bitch, I've been shaving every fucking day for a long time. Uh, not in the longest time have you shaved. <laughs> <laughs> well, not recently because... Yeah, like how, in years. But not, not, I shaved, not in this decade. I shaved all the time. Nothing happened. And it I stimulated was growth. Well, just a little bit. It stimulated something, all right. You were a late bloomer. Now, if you start actually shaving your face, it will come in thick. Maybe being a late bloomer is a good thing. Yeah, for some things, for sure. Maybe I won't get my grays as early. Um, no, maybe you're, I won't you're getting need, some grays already. I do have some grays. I got the salt and pepper going. Already. Maybe I won't have ED as fast. Educational dysfunction? <laughs> sure. You're done learning. Well, I'm hanging out with you. My IQ is dropping very fast. Oh, yeah, we did determine that today. <clears throat> John's success rate was way higher without me around. That is very true. With me back, I can't spell shit. I misuse words. What would what I misuse today? I, I said like, oh, when I just jump in the shower, it's hereditary. I just start singing, and they didn't know what I meant. It's like you I can't, you can't, right. you can't help but sing. It's hereditary. I, under, I understood exactly what you meant. See, it's it's not hereditary. You don't say nothing hereditary. If it, does this it, is coming from the guy who 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 fails to accept that shaving your face stimulates growth. I can't listen, take anything you, you say serious. Uh, if it's hereditary, both his parents sing in the shower. Bob and Renee may sing in the shower. He said they don't. They do not. <laughs> do their grandparents? They might be singing that? in their head. Do their parents mm-hmm. sing? Mm-hmm. Maybe one, maybe. Yeah, uh, some things skip generations. I don't know. So that it, Honestly, I mean, I it, it, you could be. They could, I could, it could be, be right. It could be right. Somewhere along in my bloodline, I just got to do an ancestor one two three me dot com report, and it'll tell me that I, somebody sang in the Your shower. cousin sings. Which one? Legit. Legit. He's not my cousin. But he, he might is. Not, I thought he was your your cousin through might, blood and marriage. He might not <laughs> sing in the shower though, and he's definitely not. He singing. He sings all the time. He's rapping. He's not singing. Who Who are you to say rapping isn't singing? It's not singing. It's a different. Is it different? Even rappers say they what don't. What does it's a different mean? Indifferent? You said it's a different. A different? You said it's a different. I, Ross, you're going to call me out on a different? Yeah, because you're <laughs> calling, you're, you called Mike out same, since he started working with you. And from right here, Mike has gotten rave reviews from his employer that you've gotten stupider. I don't think Micah is the reason why you're dumb. 
No, it definitely is. <laughs> Don't you I'm helping you out, Mike. I'm trying to help you out here. He, he knows. He I'm knows. The, just because you don't know how to spell he Thursday does doesn't mean... He does a good mean... job. He just John, can't spell for worth a shit. John stooped down to my level about something today, and even I looked at him like... You're borderline mentally fucked up. Like, for that reason? John's been mentally fucked up for a long time. <laughs> but it wasn't like a Not this obvious. bad. You see, <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like the, the kid, or I'm like the parent giving their kid sugar, and they're already an ADD like, you know, type person. I'm the one that's fueling the fire over here because I say some dumb shit. And I, I, go- play, I play stupid, but a lot of times I'm really not. I am that stupid. And they they like they laugh it off because they're like, ha, ah, you can't be that dumb. I'm like, hey, let me roll <laughs> ah, you're dumb thinking I'm not that dumb. <laughs> Do you know what the funniest compliment I right, got all week? Right, right. The funniest compliment I got all week was, you're a nice guy. You never get ruffled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Well, inside of my gets saying, this motherfucker. I swear I'm about to murder this motherfucker. Oh, I did. I called somebody a fucking bitch this week. <laughs> he I, did. I had a fucking he uh, did. Monday, I got up on the wrong side of life. <laughs> Like, I was pissed off at the world for some reason. And I was trying to do something I haven't done. I'm trying to learn. And I even said, I, I told that person, and I pointed at John. I said, if either one of you fuckers don't shut up, I'm going to I'm going to kill both of you. And you know what they did? They fucked, they fucked with me even more. They kept poking the bear until the bear finally said, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you man. know, and the in the defense, no one said anything at this point. They just lowered his chair where it caught okay. his knee in the desk. <laughs> Here's the thing: we're sitting in a chair like this. I got big legs. I'm I'm sitting on the leg like this. But when you lower it, guess what? I can't get my leg yeah, out. It, yeah, it my, fucking, your... my knee sounds like it explodes in its socket, right? <laughs> and as I'm going down, like natural reaction, like if somebody comes at you, you do like a hi yeah, hi yeah, or like a defense yeah. move. Yeah. <laughs> I God didn't even have time to filter he yells this. this. Hi yeah. <laughs> no, there's other people in the area too. Yeah. It's not just the, it's just not the people picking on them. Yeah, and it, my, I didn't have time to think about where I'm at, my environment, nothing. <laughs> It came out as natural as natural could be. And it wasn't playful. It was hateful as fuck. <laughs> to the point whenever I said it, I kind of felt bad. I was like, oh, I'm shit. I'm like, I'm going to HR. I'm getting fired. <laughs> My but, review this year is not going to be good. But oh, luckily. I, I covered them up, though. <laughs> luckily, they thought it was funny. And they couldn't Everybody stop laughing. Was, Everybody thought it was funny. But they they nobody, down, nobody expected it. Fuck you guys. They, they, no, they, they lowered me down. I'm like. Ah, fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Probably that loud, too. It was exactly like oh, that. Oh, man. <laughs> fucking bitch! And then fucking was, bitch! And then I was like, like, oh, shit. And then it was something. <laughs> I fell out of my chair. Oh, it was something along the lines of, always fucking playing around, man. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I was like, oh, and you hear Ole in the background. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> oh my. I, I got some, I got, I got some like deer in the headlights for sure. Even I was like, oh shit. Inside, like, you know, uh, you see that meme like, uh, like someone mind blown had like the military copters in the background, the bombs going off. That is Micah's head, like yeah. Micah's head at the moment. If you could, if you could, if you could punch somebody with words, I did it. Oh, you oh, punched. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you overcutted that bitch to the roof with a fucking bitch. It's so funny though, because <laughs> bitch, everybody fucks with Micah. Everybody. They do it because they know I get razzled. Dude. Especially if I'm trying to do and learn something and be serious for ten minutes. I even said, uh, just leave me alone. I'm trying to write a fucking email. I need two minutes. Two fucking minutes. You know just leave me alone. There's you, like six you flashed plus back. people. You flashed back to the moment when you were using that Chinese uh, <laughs> break line flaring tool. <laughs> Chinese big piece of shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I remember that. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, I look See like fucking... tool flying across the warehouse. Chinese made piece of shit. <laughs> I, I look like Tom Brady when I wrote oh, that yeah. fucker. I you fired hit, you that hit Gronk in the back of the fucking end zone. Dude, I hit him on a rope, too. Like, <laughs> nothing under it. Thing went <laughs> right in the wall. Ting. <laughs> You know, I, I've done good. I ain't. I'll take that back. I threw a paintbrush about a month ago. <laughs> First time girlfriend seen like that side, and she got, saw your eyes turn red. <sighs> she got upset with me, and I felt bad. But I told her I wasn't mad at her. She got upset. That you got me. upset. Yeah, she was like, 
I don't like seeing you mad. And I'm like, well, I don't like being mad. Well, there's fucking more to come. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt bad. I made her cry. Yeah, I still scary. feel bad. Uh, all because of paintbrush. But you know what? You know what? I fixed it. That <laughs> night when we were done, I took her to. Took her for a nice I took her. Dinner. I took her out. We we got drive through at Panda Express and even got milkshakes oh, at man. Steak and Shake. And took it back home. No wonder you took a shit this week, man. No, that was a month ago. (laughs) (laughs) Like that right there. We we had a romantic evening afterwards. Over some fried rice and milkshakes. Hell yeah. We got the last batch of orange chicken because they were closing for the night at like 10 o'clock. Hell yeah. Yeah. That means it was sitting there all day. They don't sell bourbon chicken no more. (laughs) They've never had bourbon chicken. Did we, did, when did we go over this? Last week? <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's Panda World said. had bourbon chicken? No. no. Oh, oh, Panda World, but not yes. Panda Express. Oh, fuck Panda oh, that, Express. I know, that's why I said it. Because yeah. we brought it up last week. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, yeah, they got good bourbon chicken. I'm like, they don't even serve bourbon chicken. Never have. Uh, they're not a legitimate Chinese restaurant. They don't no. bourbon chicken. They're like the fucking, it's I don't know. It's fast food, uh, Chinese food. Well, here, <sighs> here's the thing. At work, I, I, got, I got people popping out, scaring the fuck out of Micah. Oh, man. Like there's John, like six John's plus a fucking, people. John's six a fucking prankster. People. You can't walk nowhere. Like he'll be <laughs> ten feet in front of you and walk around a corner and get you when you come around. Yeah, it happens. That's to the what point she today. <laughs> to the today, I got so surprised I soiled myself. <laughs> what? True statement. <laughs> it was right after lunch. I was kind of leaned up on like my computer and had my ribs Is exposed. This before or after you got your ankles rolled up on by your own chair. Oh, the, the that, was a, that oh. was a different day. That was a different day. Micah gets fucked with so on oh, the daily. A new day, a new challenge <laughs> arose. Oh yeah, <laughs> it starts off with the gifts a fucking llama jumping across the pond, and it says, "Me going to annoy Micah." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's like a gift with like fifteen people. No, in it. Jesus. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I popped up at his cube while he's in the middle of working. Scared him like, ha! And then he turns and swings. <laughs> I got two or three people watching me scare him, and he's trying to punch me. But here's the thing: he knows it's coming, so his so reaction. I'm like, Whoa! If it's somebody else, they're getting clocked. No. They're getting knocked the fuck well, that's, out. That's why I tell him, I'm like, watch this, and then I scare him, and he swings. I see a trend happening here. This is and how I workplace shootings somebody, happen. Somebody's going to get knocked out by my... <laughs> There's a trend <laughs> happening right now. And, and I'm I think it all, over this shit. I think it all stems from Micah working by himself for the past 10 years. <laughs> yes. yes. He does not. <laughs> yes. I get so yes. scared. That's the yeah. thing. Is I don't get scared. I get surprised. I surprise easily. I don't Micah's get scared. still used to working alone and all these like loud noises. And, no loud noises. Yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, you're not in like a normal office setting. It's like you're back in high school where you got yeah. people fucking with you all day, every day. All you don't day. know who the fuck it's going to be. Do you guys smoke in the bathroom? <laughs> no. No. Hey, man, there's a lot some more in the bathroom. There's a lot more that goes on. Yeah, passing pills around. A guy that sits in the bathroom yeah. so shits all long. day. Yeah, we had right, this conversation. Right. Yeah, he shits all day. He sits in there so long. The fucking. Th- listen, listen. Yes. I walked in to the bathroom. We have an automatic light yeah. sensor. The lights were completely off. Completely off. To save energy. When they flick on, I see shoes in the stall. <laughs> How long have you been in the bathroom where you you're been, sitting in there with asleep. the lights off? You think he's in there whacking it? He's in there daily. Whacking? He's daily. Like, for 30 plus. Do you sit in there 30 plus, Ross? No, we've no. already had this conversation, John. Because yeah. you're a daily shitter at work. We, I know. We, we, we've, we've, we've literally had, had this conversation. conversation. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh, well, get listen, speaking, listen. I'm go. I'm just continuing on. Hey, what's the next topic? <laughs> but did I mention that I sold myself? Is yeah, yeah. Part of this conversation. But John cut you off and is not yeah, letting you finish your. Yeah. Alright, so Micah soiled himself. <laughs> Great story. Micah was scared so hard he pooped himself. I didn't poop. I like. We just got done with lunch. We had chicken tenders, some chimichurri, potatoes, and some corn. And you know when you get done eating, like, your bubbles and your gut start moving, and, like, sometimes you're kind of, like, clenching it so it don't come out? Yep. Well, I was leaned up like this, and I got poked in the rib, and it's like, ah! <laughs> True story. And I'm like, oh, man. Like, I might have just shit my pants. I was seriously concerned. And then I smell it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not good. So I just went ahead and called it. I'm like, guys, I just, I either fart or shit. And they're like, no, you didn't. Yeah, they did. It cleared you the did. whole back row. They're like, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the only person that didn't move was me, and I go, dude, I don't smell it. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> He's literally shit on my house. I've seen that, worse. Well, besides the fact that he shit on my house, I've also had little kids shit all in my fingers from changing diapers. The person that was sitting behind me got up and left, and when they mm-hmm. came back, I was turned around like this, and I had like a cup and a fan. I'm just going, uh, like yeah. fanning the fart that way. He's fanning farts. Ugh. But like I said, like if you're going to play with fire, sometimes you get shit on. That's how it goes. <laughs> that's that's exactly how it works. <laughs> you poke the bear, sometimes you're going to get burnt. <laughs> yeah, you poke the bear, sometimes it shits in your face. The shit is entertaining, though. Oh, man. The shit it's is. It's almost like workaholics without all the drugs at work. <laughs> you don't know that. Well, they could be on drugs. I yeah. guess it could be. <laughs> I don't know, but all I'm saying is it's entertaining. It's funny. Speaking of old jobs, today I had a little PTSD. It sounds like you have a lot of PTSD every day. He does. Yes. Well, anyway, I was on my way to the restroom to check my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard some ting, 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 ting. I walk around the corner. You can smell you the grinder. You could you could see the sparks flying and the grinder dust, and I'm like, I right, go there and help them old boys, you know. <laughs> hey, you're replacing body going. panels over there. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey man, I don't even run that dang no dang old little grinder there. It took me back to my old like manual labor days. I'm like, yep. Damn, I sure don't miss that. Based on what I saw on the work they did, you would have fucking outworked them like your shit. The, the quality of your work would have been 10 times better than theirs. And you know what? I'd have made about $12 an hour. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> Which I don't understand how that that's, shit. That's what they got. That's exactly what they got. Yeah. I don't see how some of the manual labor trades what is were so they doing? low paying. They're installing a sink, I think. Well, and even they had a like, grinder out there? <laughs> like the fucking sink? Even a stainless steel sink in an industrial kitchen. Wow. Listen, <laughs> and even like the places where you put your trays? Yes, that place. <laughs> At our they had a new like grinding out spot for something, and it was all fucking jaggedy and like fucking. I was like, I don't even know how to work the grinder, right? But it's actually not that hard. You turn it on, you like, ee, ee, you rub it on. Oh, like, even like, I thought you turn it. your computer on and you log in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to work the yeah. He knows how to use that gr- work that grinder. That's bullshit. Um, <laughs> I know what you're talking about, um, <laughs> and I'm not about that. Um, <laughs> And this thing, like, you can cut a fucking saw. No one ball, cares, John. But it was just <laughs> fucking jaggedy and jankity. Is jankity. This, it was John. Was this about the time of the day where John's begging people, coworkers, for their leftover lunch? Because no, I got, rap is I got it today. Yeah. Because yeah, he, was he, got, he got an extra tender. I didn't get no extra tender. You well, could have. And you like, no, no, no I'm good. I'm no, my lettuce wrap is good enough. I uh, actually had tenders today. Yeah, day. tenders oh, man. today. Watch out. He splurged. I had a ch- uh, chicken Caesar salad, He's splurged. and I took the tenders. Wow. Yep. And it was a good choice. Except for I had some gassy ass farts like you did. I had Chinese food. For I didn't show. almost shit myself, but when dude, I ripped. Well, some you weren't farts. Start, you weren't startled like he was. Uh, I ripped I'll, some farts. Let, let me poke you in the ribs after yeah. you eat. Well, tomorrow. I don't have nothing in me right now. But you wouldn't after I was done with either. It sounds like Mike is, on the, Mike is on that fucking edge. Tickle shits. He Eight hours a day. He's on the edge. On the Living edge. on the edge. His head's on a fucking swivel, like looking out. I Who's am. the next attacker? Like, <laughs> like people I, see his reactions to thing, and they just, they just, they all jump on it. Like, like you ever see those videos of like, uh, like out in Afghanistan where they show like the, the Taliban guy running across the fucking desert as bombs are going off behind that's him. That's Micah. That's Micah. Yeah, for sure. Making his way through the cubicle section every day at work and just fucking people hazing him. People, going off in the people pop out at me and I'm just like, yeah. uh, uh, and they don't even try anymore. Micah fucking full on like yeah. he's getting ready to fucking fight the world. Goddamn IED <laughs> to the back of the ankles. You know what that tells me? I'm just a person with a lot of emotion. You are. A lot, a lot. I got blood running through these veins. <laughs> I you hope do. so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think you do for sure. I got cholesterol. High cholesterol. <laughs> High cholesterol. It, it is sketchy though. If you scare him, you better watch yeah. out though. Mm-hmm. You're either getting a judo chop, a Judy kick, or you're getting shit on. One of these days, you're gonna yell something out that you can't take back. It's gonna be <laughs> funny. cocksucker. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, CEO. <laughs> yeah. Fucking faggot. Are you fucking cocksucker, John? And then, and then <laughs> you can't say that. God damn it. 
Man. And then I'm going to try to, like, I mean, I don't know if you suck cock, but if you did, like, you know, if you're cool into that, cool. <laughs> it's, it's not all right. right. It's not a big deal. I you know what? I but if you do you. do that, I think you'll be the best cock sucker. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't personally do it. It's not my thing, but, you know, if, if that's what you like. <laughs> you look like you can suck a good cock. Yeah, let me tell you. You look like you can suck the cotton out of the top of a fucking aspirin bottle. <laughs> and I say that with all due respect. <laughs> with, the foil, respect. with the foil little thing on the top? Yes. Or, with, or, or you already jabbed your finger through the foil? <laughs> Are you a cock sucker? You're not a cock sucker? I feel really bad that I brought it up. You can, you can suck a Cheerio through a straw. Those are things you just don't bring up in the workplace. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't mean to offend people. It just fucking happens. Yeah, and I am you're so hateful. I, you're hateful in the heart, and it shows. And the it's, it out. it's not in the heart. No, it, it's well, not in the heart. It's just things don't process. You, you already said it myself. I'm a slow processor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what I think he needs? He needs to buy a Dodge. That way he has more RAM. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That, that was good. That was an IT joke for sure. <laughs> Actually, fun fact. Uh, fun RAM fact. Is, is his own is brand his own, now. Okay. It's, not a, it's not a Dodge RAM uh, now. Here's it's a RAM. real nerd yeah. talking. Fucking motor trend over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking geek. Yeah, uh, RAM is their own brand now. They're under the Dodge umbrella. You know what RAM has in common with your shirt? You both get rammed in the ass. <laughs> My shirt does not have an ass. <laughs> oh. What's the j- difference between jam and ram? <laughs> a J. I don't know. Fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the first just... letter, that's what's the difference. <laughs> that's ter- that's, terrible. that's, that's the a terrible joke. That's a terrible joke. That's a terrible joke. The, the, the original joke was, what's the difference between jam and jelly? You can't jiggle a ram in your ass. <laughs> 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 My God. <laughs> you fucking into bestiality with your animal print ass. You can't jelly sick, a ram in your ass. <laughs> sick fuck. You look like a retired Ryan Fitzpatrick. Or a benched Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, he's benched. I know. He yeah, looks like a washed up Joe Namath. I don't understand why they benched him. He was I, actually I, having a good year and they were in playoff contention. Yes. And they benched him. Because that was their plan all along. Did they lose? No. No. They. He had like a career. <laughs> he had like two career weeks back. Yeah, to he that. threw like five touchdowns one game, and Did they two would play like two minutes, and they're like, but, "Yep, that's yeah, a guy." Yeah. They probably done it based on prior history. That's Fitzpatrick's motto. He'll play lights out, stupid for like six weeks, and then play like he's never saw a football. All field. right, then bench him after he plays one shitty game. One like, but I'm like, really? They bench him? And he was like, "Oh, I didn't see it coming." <laughs> Did you like my comment back to Paul? I, I yes, with the it. fucking <laughs> dolphin doing dude on the glass. Yes. Yeah, I said, he said, because he, he, he sent the group message. Oh, yeah, I was like. <laughs> yeah, he sent the group message. Two is starting, two is starting. And I said, well, so you need to tell, uh, send a memo to the Dolphins to tell them to stop tanking for Tua. They already drafted him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, we are three and three. And I'm like, man, I'm just chill out. I'm playing Congratulations, with man. Yeah. <laughs> that would probably be the only three you win. Yeah. You'll be the next guy who became irrelevant playing for the Jets or the Dolphins. Absolutely. Who's the Dolphins coach right now? Uh, Brian Flores. Flores. That was a Patriot guy? Yeah. Yeah. And you have uh, Trevor Lawrence. They're saying that uh, he might play Clemson just so he's not draft number one overall. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. He could do like Eli Manning and refuse to play and get a trade out. I mean, I wouldn't want to play for him. Hell no. That's like career. You already drafted Sam Darnold thinking that he was going to be your fucking. (laughs) And he's not that bad. No, the problem with the Jets is their coach, Adam Gase. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Darnold had a good rookie season, and then fucking Adam Gase came in there who. Who sucked in Miami, and as soon as he left Miami and Tannehill left, Tannehill is doing damn good now. Yep, Kenyon Drake's another one. Yeah. Adam here's, Gase is the problem, not the not the players. Here's my thing. Like, if you've played football for a majority of your life and you're you're able to coach and you understand the game. Ready to coach. That's what you do. Ready to coach. You sound like Jim Adam. You can see what needs to be done. Like, it's basic. Like... I don't understand. Like, right there, all right, yeah. Throw it away. Third nine, yeah, you should throw. And that's but why the- there's some basic-ass fucking coaching that should happen, and they fucking fail. Like they well, just- you got to look, and that's also why the Patriots have been have won their division. Because it's not going to do it this year. football. Well, no. It's because the same coaches coach the other three teams. They all fucking musical coaches oh, there between is, them. Yeah, they're just yeah. rotating. But, I mean, like, the Patriots, they're fundamentally sound. And they play the game the way it should be. You play to win the game. They try to control the clock. They're not trying to put up big numbers. 
Well, like some of these, these they try to get fancy and they do stupid gadget plays and bullshit, and it's like it's fucking hurting you. If it doesn't work, it's like fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Speaking 50% of fifty fifty. Time works every time. Speaking of fifty fifty, do you guys know how close we were to being millionaires? How close? About fifty fifty shot. They sold a million dollar scratch off ticket at the Duff Road Circle K two weeks ago. Which one? The one on Duff Road. Oh, I think that's a show. You're pointing the wrong direction. You're pointing towards your house. That way. No. Yes. That is the one on Duff Road. Yes, you said you said there's okay on Duff Road. I said banana. No, you said Duff no, Road. I said banana. Road. <laughs> you said fucking Duff Road. Uh, yeah, now you were sure. pointing towards the banana road one, but you said Duff Road. I'm we're gonna listen to sure. playback. <laughs> banana Road. I'm Tom sure. Callahan. Wait, wait. Tom Callahan will text super you tomorrow fan, super, and let me know stupid, that Mike has said stupid fan. Duff road. Fucking Tom but Callahan. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that sucks. My roommate Scott, he stops at that Circle K every day. He buys on average six. Ten to twenty dollars scratch off tickets a week. That's how my dad is. He has been playing the new Lotto game, the hundred X, twenty X, or whatever. Yeah. He's bought these same tickets probably the same week that this sixty year old one old man won it. Sixty year old one arm. Sixty sixty one <laughs> year old. Oh, they said sixty year old one arm. I, I, I know what you're talking about. My IQ <laughs> yep. dropped too. But just think how close what could have been a millionaire. My man. dad keeps up hey. on the the Lotto website. To see where they're winning. Yeah, he's um he keeps up to date because they keep up to date uh tabs on the scratch offs, how many jackpots are left of this one. So he only plays the one with the most jackpots, the most big prizes left. That's brilliant. Yeah. I never thought of that. You I just go on a whim. He, he downloaded the Florida Lottery um app and he can look at up to how the minute. How current is that? I think they uh they do it daily, daily or weekly. But still, you know, well today there or this week there was one jackpot left on this scratch off. But there was four left on this. You, you, you go with that one because you have more you chances. You need to constantly check the website to see what prizes are available. Yeah, my dad has the apps. And, you can and, do it, the and it shows all, yeah, it shows the, all the scratch-offs that the Florida State Lotto does. I do like look at the odds of winning one because if it's one in three, I'll buy three tickets because I should have like – One of these is going to be a winner. Three. One of these is going to be the winner. Should be. And I've done that and got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like, where do they come up with these fucking odds? This is bullshit. It but is. I was going to say, your roommate has had terrible luck. He has won some, too. I seen that he's got a, had break issues. Yeah. I saw that he, he had fucking he, he had fucking ice cubes coming out of his AC vent. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. I saw, that's a fucking I saw good ass AC. That's ice, what that is. It's, fucking, it's yeah. an ice maker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is he mad? I, I wish Put fucking, your fucking cup out, bro. I wish fucking ice cubes came out of my AC. <laughs> his beer can finally be cold. Yes. Yeah. God, my. Oh, show. Sure. Well, God he don't want that because he likes hot beer. Well. It'd be chill. But I was just like, I saw, I saw a Facebook yeah. post today. The that rotor had, like, thing. Uh, oh, you're, you're friends with your dad on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> He's not my daddy. Y'all look alike. He don't know him that he thinks y'all are twins. Yeah, I mean, you never know. He could be. He said, I, I don't think he is, but he could be. He I'm not said rule it out. He said he did a DNA hair follicle sample, <laughs> and it says y'all are indeed not father and son. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> not for sure. We're not. Touchdown. But yeah, I was like, man, he's got some fucking bad luck lately. Yeah, like he he had the right rotors. The box says it was for the rear. He went to put them on. They didn't fit. They were wrong. Everything. And come to find out, they sent him fucking rotors to like a Nissan Pathfinder. Oh, the motherfuckers! (laughs) That's what he used to have. (laughs) You're right, he did. (laughs) Yeah, that's a soul car. So mm. maybe it was uh, like an automated. No, thing. the company took responsibility because the part he was supposed to get was like a four nine zero six seven. They sent him a four zero oh, nine six seven. Yeah. So they transposed one of the numbers. But I was gonna say it was an honest mistake. Honest. Well, it's honest, but I mean, like maybe because he's uh, maybe he's bought there from there before. They could have had that information saved for. His- no. He hadn't bought these. That sounds like that was like the off the shelf thing. They grabbed the wrong thing off the shelf. Yeah, yeah and quality check. Their quality check messed it. Like yeah. if somebody signed off, like they checked the part number and matched them up. The only bad thing about that is that I assume they swapped them out. Yeah, but you gotta but, wait two days to get yeah, them. Yeah, the problem that. is you already had one of them ripped off. You had to put all your shit back yeah, together. You spent you spent yeah. an hour uh, you w- getting that one. Yeah, you wasted some time, and now you gotta go back and do it again. And he's yeah. paying somebody to do it, so that sucks though. Still. Yeah. Even, like you're wasting time it does regardless. Suck, man. Time and money. 
Yeah, time is money. That's a fact. For sure. Yep. If you're wasting money, you're wasting time. Well, and at some point, if you are in demand, you need to figure out your value. You're right, I do. And that's very evident this week. I I went back. I swear I would never do it, but I did it to my old place of residence for financial conversation and been doing some side work. I have not been paid on this venture yet. So it's going to be interesting to see like if I'm more valuable now than it was when I worked there. Did he agree to your price? It was just tell him what I owe, what he owes me when I'm done. And I'm scared to give him a price Man. because it's going to be like, motherfucker, I didn't want to buy the whole thing. Well, you should have asked me what my price was before you hired me to do it. I'm just trying to be fair. Yep. That would that's the best thing I want to do. Be fair. Yep. I, I, that is the best thing to do is just be fair. Be fair. But but my fair may not be his fair or vice versa. That's why I did I did side of work once. I never do side work. It Actually, both, I did side tough. work twice. If the you first have time, fuck addicts. I ain't the, getting. Well, no, this, I don't do anything residential. It's all commercial stuff. I told the first person like we need two data drops. I'm like, I charge 150 dollars a data drop, and a that day? is no a, for a single a for cable drop. for a single network drop. You want me to install 150 dollars? That includes my labor, the cable, time and, and terminator on each end. Not so good. if you want one drop, he's like, all right, we want two, 300 dollars, and then um, good. the second job. I did for my buddy Dave. He was like, they wanted, uh, they need this done. I was like, I charge $75 an hour, minimum four hours. Nice. And I charge it's 300 it, bucks. But that's just for labor. Oh. Plus, uh, materials. I end up charging this place, uh, $680. No problem. Sign the check. No, they were, he worked at, uh, he works at a, a hotel, like, um, renovation company. And they needed a bunch of data jacks to fix and all that. Charge them for five hours and like a couple hundred bucks in materials that I had it sitting in my garage for years. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yep. That is good, man. $75 an hour, minimum four hours. That's the thing. If you know what the work, war, what the work is and what the low and high end of it is, it should be yeah. good if you, as long as you're fair. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But the older that I'm getting, the more I realize – my time's valuable. The time is valuable. Yep. And if you're going to use your time to do other things, it's going to be worth it. Yep. Yep. And the price you're charging them probably going to be cheaper than if somebody else came and right. did it. Like 25 an hour, I feel like it's cheap. Yeah, it And is. that's what I was planning on. Yep. There, granted, I am using his tools and stuff, but it's this your is time. his stuff. He come to me yeah. asking that's for true. help. That's true. But I feel like this same stuff, somebody could get paid $40 an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. I I mean, I think you're reasonable. Reasonable? Yeah. Because he's the one that taught me, if you're going to do side work, don't do it for less than what you're making in your day job. Yeah. That's true. So. If I'm doing side work, I'm making it worth my while. Because I just don't. I just don't do work on well, my own. My it's own not. Time. It's not your career. It's not what you're. Not anymore. You're doing. And I will. And I will say as a good reminder of. I have not missed that shit as much no. as I thought I did. Yeah. After a couple hours, I'm like, yeah, like typing on a computer for yeah. <laughs> an air condition is way easier. Yeah. So. Yeah. The thing it's a like I said you're, whenever you tell me what your responsibilities are, I'm like that's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, cause you are you are fucking brilliant. Like you're you're way smarter than you think you are. Even though I, we joke about your IQ being no. low. See, I know I'm st- smart. I play stupid. Yeah, oh, and I know that too. When it's time to get serious, well, I get fucking serious. Well, your last job, you didn't have to worry about people hazing you, and fucking picking. Yeah, I did. I had a bird to talk shit. Yeah, but the do- the bird didn't fucking pin your ankles between your the chair and the fucking ground. <laughs> My knee is still fucked up. Like it hurts. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's. I think I sprained it. Fucking bitch. Did you ever turn to the bird? Oh, you motherfucker. (laughs) Did you ever do that to the bird? I told him to shut the fuck up before, too. He just shit and talked all the time. Did the bird make you shit your pants? No. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) No. Yeah, man. What else is on the list? Not a damn thing. That's it. That's it. We can wrap this thing up if you're ready. I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, well, I reckon. 
Yeah, I'm good if y'all It wasn't the craziest episode. No. It's a basic ass fucking night. Actually, fun. it was mostly about the trauma that Micah faces on the daily. Mike yeah, see what I gotta deal with? Yeah. He gets harassed, and then he still gets rave yeah. reviews. You know and what he I comes think back the problem, tomorrow. You know what I think the problem was? This wine's only 5%. Yeah. Yeah, we problem. just discovered that the foo foo wine that Micah drinks is, has less alcohol in it than a bush light. I brought something <laughs> different. I haven't brought the same thing in like a week. Yeah. Okay. I, I like to experiment, try different flavors. Other Micah likes to try everything at least once. No, other than cock. <laughs> Not trying cock. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll maybe, see y'all. Maybe what? one week we'll get like a, pr- a preview to the pregame karaoke before the show. Pregame karaoke? What? We pregame karaoke? We'll get a preview to the pregame karaoke? I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> this guy should be a car salesman. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, can I just do the preview of the pregame karaoke? You know. <laughs> fucking sign me up! <laughs> What do we got to do to get you into this pregame karaoke? <laughs> pre-game karaoke. You, yeah. know, you record us singing before the show. We never do that. We do. Yeah, we, yeah, we were singing Brooks and Dunn tonight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we do sing. Sometimes. Uh, Give we'll, me s- on we'll see you all next week. If you lose, you won't know that. There's always room here we for all the baloney. I was going to say the horny. I said the baloney. Bye.